Hello everybody and welcome back to uh, Finding Nemo. I'm gonna move my mouse off the screen. This time I actually caught it right away. <laughs> Last time we went to uh... I'm not saying that, you know what? I, I don't think I can. This time we're gonna have a race with jellyfish involved. Boy, it sure is clear up here. Exactly. Ah! I feel like there was a bit of a jump cut there. Just a this little. Is bad, Dory. Hey, watch this! Boing, boing. It's like when I try to edit a video, it's just like the tops. I have I have no idea where or like the tops don't sting you. That's it. I have no idea where the cut it. So I'm like, I want to have the context, but having all of it is too much. Um, whoever can hop the fastest out of these jellyfish wins. Okay. Rules, okay. rules, rules. Okay. You can't touch the tentacles. Uh, only the tops. Something about tentacles. Got it. So, On your mark, get the no, tentacles. No, no, wait, wait. Not something about them. It's all about them. Wait. Sorry. There we go. Now I get to play the game. So I upped my uh, mic volume by 10% and lowered the game by 10% because in editing I've been increasing it. Uh, or like doing basically kind of like that. I don't know the equivalent between the editor and uh, my and, or like the editor and OBS volume. But you know. Uh, I'm hoping that I got roughly this correct. I don't think I've been getting all these bubble rings. I'm just failing at racing, honestly. That's pretty much it. Ah. Buttons are hard to hit, okay. And apparently, if you just. Wow. Yeah. No, if you just hit. If you just actually hit those, you, uh, just get all the bubble rings automatically. Interesting. Wait, do I even need the mash A when doing that? I don't. I really just need to hit the B button at the right time. Wow. Cra crazy, huh? Crazy how that works. Dory? Dory? Oh, I lost. Oh, no! Yeah! Careful I don't make you cry when I win! Whoa. Wait, can I just mash the B button? No. Dang, I actually have to time it correctly. Unfortunate. I was hoping I could just mash the button. That'd be great. Oh, come on. The timing's kind of weird, though, on it. Like, after you, like, start getting a chain, I feel like it gets harder to hit correctly. Or, like, some of these just don't have... Like, that one. Like, I feel like that one didn't give me as much time to, like, react. But I could be wrong. I could be crazy. You never know. It's a possibility. I also, at the start, at the beginning of this, I thought, uh, those bubble rings weren't the normal bubble rings. I thought they were, like, the speed boost bubble rings from, like, the submarine, uh, like, bonus minigame thing. Or, like, bonus race. For example, I can't remember what other levels had that. There was at least one other that had something like that. Nice, I win. Oh, and now we're doing this. That's, oh my god, 128. Oh, but the question is, if I die, do they keep how many I've jumped on? If they don't, I'm not doing this. It's just like... The the mini game early on in this, or like the extra bonus mini game early on, where it's just like you just have to jump on way too many in one life. I'm dead. Nope, time to find out. But now I'm just going for the bubble rings. Oh, they actually keep them. Sweet. It's so much better than controls. Out on the other hand, still not as good. A little bit higher of a camera would be nice to tell if they're like to tell if the gaps are large enough to uh, not be able to jump. Like right there, it's like it's kind of hard to tell because you know the jellyfish are moving up and down, so they kind of block your vision of each other every now and then. Uh, could you like not move in my way? Okay, well. That's exactly what I asked you not to do. It's like 7 a.m. I'm 
by like, I mean it's actually just 7.02 a.m. And, yeah. Uh, I'm probably not gonna get to go to bed till like, 9, so this is great. The longer I take on this, the longer it's gonna be before I go to bed. Sorta, I guess. Depends on how long the next level is, because if this level takes like 20 minutes, then I don't have to worry about, uh, staying up that long, because I, I get the level done and it's like a guaranteed 20 minute video. But if this takes like, I don't know, 10 minutes, and then the next level takes like 30, then I'm not getting as lucky there. I hate trying to judge where these things are going to go. Let me move. I thought that was actually about to land on top of me. Depth perception is hard though. I could not tell which ones they were jumping on or to. I can't even tell which ones I'm jumping to half the time. Like I'm holding like straight up sometimes and say it's just like you wanna go this way? I got it. Cause everything's at a diagonal. Maybe that's what's messing me up, it's the fact that all these jumps are diagonal. It really feels like my, my brain just wants to hold like cardinal directions. I think that only includes up, down, left, and right. I hate this. I hate this section. Not even like halfway done with it either. Not even like halfway done with it either, are we? Because it's like what? How many? Okay, no, we're a bit over half. That's good, at least. But, the farther we get, uh, the longer it takes to get back. Oh my god. It sucks. Cause it's like, I had to actually just wait for the jellyfish to move out of the way. It was just actually completely in the way. That's so dumb. And look at this! Now there's not even a jellyfish over here. Gosh darn RNG. Being stupid. I mean, thank you for not putting one there, but still, that's kind of just annoying to know that that could just. I could have three, or I could have zero. Just hanging out, and then that can happen. It's like, isn't that fun? Man, I can't imagine what a speedrun of this would be like for this section. This is terrible. Actually, no, I guess trying not to jump on, or like, not having to try to jump on every single jellyfish here would make it a lot easier. Probably. Make it a lot faster. That, that one was my fault, though. Like, I had plenty of time to, to go, oh man, I shouldn't jump there. But, man, 100% speedrun of this game. That sounds terrible. Because then you have to do this multiple kind of times. In multiple different levels. Ah, well. Thankfully, this ain't no 100% thing. They jumped diagonal. I thought they just jumped to the one in front of me, because there were one in front of me already. I'm just gonna shut up and speed this up if it takes- if that's gonna be what's happening here.
Okay. I... Please jump to the correct one. Thank you. Thank you. I was so worried it was not gonna jump to the correct one, because... Like, it just randomly changes whether or not you need to hit a diagonal, or if you need to hit up or down. But the camera changes with it. Or, like, constantly changes also, so it's like, it's even harder to tell. Like, there's just no rhyme or reason between which one you need to do, it's just... Yeah, you gotta take a guess. You gotta just kinda hope for the best, that, and hope that the direction you hit is the correct direction you need to be hitting right now. Cause I don't even think it's, like, based off of where the camera started at when you first started that section, it's just... Yeah, we chose this portion to just be diagonal. For, with, like, to go f straight up. Or, like, hit left to go up and to, to the left. Like, it's just so weird. I don't remember how much more, uh, or how many more of those sections there are. But I'm hoping not many. <laughs> That'd be great. Although, did we see the one that I just failed? like, show up. I feel like we just saw it show up, like, from the side of the screen, like, swim on in the frame. Good, what was that about? What is that conversation that was about to happen? I want to know now, actually. What the heck? Disqualify. No, you're doing fine. You're you're actually winning. But you gotta stay awake. Uh, why does Pete shut them live? So I still have nothing to talk about during these portions of the movie. That are literally just from the movie. Kind of unfortunate, because these randomly just take a really long time. And I don't know why. Well, I guess it's time to see what the bonus level is. That took nine minutes. What the heck? Uh, create save data. Why not? Is it actually able to? Oh wow, it actually is able to this time. Nice. Man, trying to move where my dolphin emulator is. Uh, like, which drive it's in was a terrible, terrible mistake. Because I never know if a game can save or not. <laughs> so I have to make sure I use save to- Oh my god, it's another one of these. 80? 80 of them. Please tell me they're all just in this straight line like this. Well, not straight, but you know, like, just this linear line like this, not in this huge open area spread out and whatnot. Because 80 is going to take forever if they're spread out. If I swim lower, am I going to find more? Yes. Well, let's go back up. Let's just get what's above and then we'll work our way down, I guess, because I don't think it's a cave system. That might be like a bit more annoying to get through. Did that work? No, dang. Our diagonals. Well, I think I think that thing I was mentioning where uh, this ends up being like a 20 minute video versus like 30 minute or like a 40 minute video might be happening because of this portion. That, that, I don't think I have to speed up that much. It was only like a couple, or actually, it was only like one actual attempt that it took me after uh, saying that I was going to speed it up. Why? It's just barely off the ground, so I can't. It's so dumb. The rings are just barely off the ground. Just to make it ever that, or just. 
that much harder to get the ball through them. Because that's why. This, this game, I swear, sometimes this game does not want you to have fun. Just for no reason, just says, yep, fun time's over. You, you have this, deal with it. Is that? No, that's gonna miss. Right? Yeah, that's gonna miss. But I got this. Please. Okay, cool. I almost just knocked it out of the way. <laughs> that would've been terrible. Uh, anything to the right? No, that's where we came from. Anything to this right? Yes, actually. Okay, wow, nice. Light attack. I think that's fine. Yep. Just gonna alt tab real quick to see where the recording's at. 16 minutes? Yeah, I think I'm gonna go back to shutting up now. Maybe. Uh, it's like, one hand, you're still seeing the new parts of this level. You know? But on the other hand, Pressure is still more up here, and it does not look like it loops around. Well, this literally loops around, though. But yeah, on one hand, it's like we're still seeing new parts of the level, but it's still more of just bounce ball through ring. Oh, actually, it does loop. Okay, neat. But then it also, like, I don't know how fast I want to speed it up, and at some point, Speeding up the footage is just like, eh. You know, it's like I, I would want to have commentary, but like, it did sped up. And the pitch correction that, that the editor I use apparently has it can only do so much for such a fast speed. And granted, I don't think this is gonna be as bad as that puzzle of the of the puffer fish, where I had to do a thousand percent speed. Is that like man, that was crazy. But I feel like this would probably still end up as like too fast of a speed. And it's like I Don't hit the ground. Thank you. Don't hit the wall either. I cannot get it off the wall. It's like I kind of wish this bouncy ball was a bit more bouncy. So it was a lot easier to get out of corners and stuff. But it's not. Instead it likes to really just get stuck in corners. Sadly, I did not want to bump that again. That was gonna make it perfectly fine. I was like, heck, even if this ball just bounced a bit, like it would, it would make the uh, the last one of these so much better because it wouldn't be able to get just completely stuck in a specific spot for all eternity, causing you to have to hit the restart button. But oh well, I mean, it's a it's a game game, you know. Like, any game, even nowadays, still have their flaws. And I f feel like older video yeah, old Older video games have a lot of flaws, and I guess newer video games have a lot of flaws, but they're just very different flaws. I feel like uh, newer ones have more, like, weird... I don't know, actually. I don't think I know what I'm talking about anymore. Just got kind of the same words. Hello, this is a lot of rings. It's fine by me. I get a chance to adjust my glasses that are falling off my face, even with headphones on. And I get to just uh, sit right here, wait for it to fall through three rings. We're actually almost done with this, thankfully. I remember these. 
these levels sucking a lot more. Like, a lot more. But honestly, not as bad as I remember. Especially the, the one with the sea mine. Or, yeah. Those ones, or that one I remember being extremely terrible. But, I guess the last time I played this game I just was that bad. And somehow I magically just improved. I think I've gotten her, like, quite. I think I've gotten some stars that I definitely didn't get. Boy. Oh, wait, wait. Is this the last five? Please tell me this is the last five and I can just actually miss one somewhere. Yes! Okay, cool, we're done. Nice! We did it! And like that, that'll do it for this episode of uh, Finding Nemo because some gimmicks in this game take way too long to get through. That was almost as long as the actual normal level. Nay. Wow, holy 34 out of 60 starfish, huh? How many have we missed so far, actually? So we've missed one, three, Four, five, six. We missed six so far. Right? Yeah. All right, that's not terrible. Maybe we would, if we had all of them, be forty out of. Is there not a way to check? I guess not. A save game. Yeah, we would be out forty out of sixty. That's not terrible. But yeah, that'll, that'll do it for this episode of uh, Finding Nemo. Next time we go and train with Gil. See you all then. Bye bye.